just so we're clear, you, you felt that it was right to fire Cox because the president had the authority to do so? The authority to do so, and he had, I thought he had good reason to do so. Because of the, the, the press conference? Yeah. But not because of Cox's, but anything else? So no. Solely for the, because of the press conference? Solely for making it a, a, a national political showdown between himself and the president. Um, so had this crisis occurred, had he not done the press conference and you'd been faced with the same problem, same question, you might have had a problem then. No, I couldn't. I, well, once once uh, the special prosecutor was a member of the Department of Justice, which he was in the beginning, I could not oppose him. I mean, I could oppose him in an argument in, in, in Elliot's office and saying you shouldn't do that, but I couldn't go into court and oppose him formally. So I'm, I'm just to be clear, but if he had not, if Cox had not given the press conference, you would have had a quandary had you been asked to fire him. Yeah, I suppose so. I, I, I don't know. Because Nixon wanted to fire him well before the press conference. Oh yeah, but but there was no reason to. And Nixon had a reason to. <laughs> I didn't have a reason to. So was the, for you, the, was the press conference? For me, it was the showdown between, a political showdown in public between the, the minor officer and the president. Mm 